If I don't post and I go ghost, it's gonna be for Just got my read. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson, and we've got our reporter, Ali LaForce. And that was a great win for them. Nobody liked their chances coming into the game, but when they got to OT, they put the hammer down. When they say don't give your opponent confidence, this is what they mean. They were allowed to hang around, and by the end, they were the team that believed in themselves. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Royce O'Neal. Kimba Walker's out there with Kevin Herter. Then it's Nemanja Bielica, and it's Martin in at the three. That shot is good by O'Neal. And looking at both of these teams, Richard, both great passing squads, two of the better assist teams in the NBA. This is how basketball was intended to be played. A team offense making the extra pass, moving the ball. This is the type of basketball that basketball people love to watch. Yeah, it's a beautiful brand of ball, for sure. Just a joy to watch. Now Los Angeles with it. Pass to Westbrook. And it's Martin with the rebound. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. And here's Bielitsa. Shoots over Davis. Monk grabs the miss. Here's Westbrook. The three sinks the tray. I don't think I need to tell anybody. Westbrook is a gunner. If the D isn't right up on him, when he gets the ball, he's taking that shot for sure. Now here's Martin. Here's O'Neal. Not going to go that time. Anthony outside. Off target from three-point range. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Here's Monk. Westbrook outside. Monk, a screen on Walker. Back to Monk. There's the three. Knocks down the triple. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Hey, Richard, how about Westbrook's basketball IQ? By far one of the smartest players in the game. How else would he have broken the triple-double record? He sees everything. His sense of the floor is elite. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Lakers. Shooting one. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. Back to Westbrook. Takes a three. Knocks it down from distance. Westbrook's got six. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Here's Herter. Uses the glass on the layup. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time, Richard. Yeah, Will, Kareem, Shaq, Pal Gasol, the Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. Now here's Westbrook. He's got six. Davis can't hit. Here's O'Neal, pounded by Westbrook. Three-pointer. And he can't get that one. So the Lakers will take it the other way. After the outside. Pass to Westbrook. Nice move. Monk for three. O'Neal pulls it in. Monk's gone. One of three shooting so far. Back to Bielita. Rebound. The Lakers. Here's Monk. James outside. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering what it's like playing against LeBron, it is not fun. He's too big, he's too strong, and just gets the contact and the finish. Griffin, he's checked in for O'Neal. Give it up one more time for your Lakers breaker.
And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Griffin outside. Back to Walker. Over Westbrook. And Walker gets it to go on the assist from Griffin. I mean, more than a decade in the league, Walker has become a wily veteran valuing that mid-range game. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Herter. That shot off. And Los Angeles the other way now. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Here's Monk. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Cody Martin. It's fun to see Malik Monk continue to gain confidence, grow his presence out on the floor, and expand his potential to impact the game. And he knocks down the first one. Malik Monk really has risen to the occasion when given the chance here, Richard. Well, and that's the thing. He is seeing bigger opportunities and taking them. If a coach hands you more minutes, you have to prove that you're worth it. And Monk has done just that, capitalizing on his touches. And he makes both free throws. And here's Herter. Down low. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Pass to Bielitsa. Over Howard. The shot by Bielita, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Herter. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Martin, the pass to Walker. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Outside Monk. They set a pick. Here's the three. He drops it from range. Monk's got eight points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, eh, they're not helping things. Here's Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court, and it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Now here's Martin. He buries it from three. He's got seven. Making enough threes to keep the D honest. Walker isn't a guy you leave alone. Here's Augustine. Tipped. We've got a minute 48 left in the first. Bielita finds Griffin. Howard grabs the miss. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make them all. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. A switch here. Bradley's checked in. All right. Time to cheer on the Luger Girls dance team. Let's go. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. Cousins, the pass to Martin. Now Griffin. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. One twenty-five left in the opening quarter. Outside Augustine. That's tip. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. There's a minute 17 left in the first. Let's it fly from 18. The shot by Howard, no good. Normally he drains that. 
Jones finds Cousins. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Now Augustine. Pass to Williams. Back to Augustine. Here's Bradley. There's the triple. Griffin pulls down the board. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. To the wing, right side. Cousins, the pass to Martin. Yep, that one goes. Now just a five-point Laker lead. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 26 seconds left in the first quarter here. No coverage that time. Bradley's gone one for two from deep. Griffin passes to Jones. Back to Craig. On the wing, Jones. Over Howard. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are going to... The previous play is under review. In time or not. <laughs> Tough call to make in real time. I mean, good thing they can go and slow it down and look at it again. Because this is so important. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the ruling is in. The call stands. No bucket. So no change in the score as we end the quarter. Good move to review that shot. That was really close to counting. Offense is coming free and easy as we wrap up the first. Lakers ahead. They're up by eight. And we'll be back right after this. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. LeBron James out there with Anthony. And then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Smart in at the two. That's the Laker five. That is a disaster. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for him. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays, Grant. And that can be a double-edged sword, B.A. You love his aggression and confidence. But you wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. Here's Jones. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Cousins. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Westbrook, the pass to James. Westbrook with a screen on Craig. It's James with the drive. For such a big dude, all he needs is just a little bit of daylight, and LeBron is going to be hanging on that rim. Craig finds Cousins. It's Walker on the wing. Off the mark there with a three. James up top, defended by Craig. The three is up. Jones grabs the board. Martin outside. Walker passes to Cousins. Craig on the wing from behind the arc. Smart grabs the miss. The Lakers with the ball. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Launches a three. They get it back. Here's Davis. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. <laughs> Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board in football. Here's Martin. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Richard, 17 years for you as a player. 
If you were to give some advice to someone starting their playing career right now, what do you think that would be? Oh, it would always be get your routine down. Get your pregame routine. Get your summer routine. you got to figure out what it is that makes your game work. Because it's hard as you get older. NBA careers don't last very long. But if you put your routine, you put your game first, everything else will fall in line. And the Lakers making a change here. Monks checked in. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. James with the ball. He's got six. Ooh, LeBron with the slam. Okay, wow. Old man LeBron James getting acrobatic, putting on a show. I see you, big fella. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Davis. It's hauled in by Herter. Bielitsa with a ball. Now guarded by Monk. Bielitsa, the pass to Walker. Fires at the elbow. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Walker's got 11 points. And certain guys like Kimba are just made to get buckets. A huge advantage to have an option like Walker on your squad. And finished off by Davis. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. Davis has gone two of four from the field. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Martin, he's checked in for Martin. Royce O'Neal at the line for one. Free throw, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Rebounded by Bielitsa. Look, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. Herter gets the bucket. Guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Westbrook. He has six. On the wing, Davis. Off target with the three. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Outside for Bielita. Releases. No good on the shot. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. James against Martin. That one's good from James on the assist by Anthony. Look, the moment he gets it anywhere near the hoop, look, it is over. Just too much strength, too much touch, either hand. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Anthony with it. Now Herder defending. James. And it's blocked by Martin. To the middle. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Just what they wanted from that possession. A quality look in tight. Now Los Angeles with it. Six-point lead. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Davis. Williams comes in for Anthony. Bradley, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Augustine in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Howard. Walker pulls down the board. Howard's gone one for three on the night. Pass to Herter. Now Martin launches it. Augustine with the rebound. Dr 
Driving inside. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Thursday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Oklahoma City Thunder. And that game against the Grizzlies, they obviously have the upper hand coming into that one. But don't expect a blowout. It could turn into a real battle. And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. O'Neal inside. Williams defending. From about 19, Herter gets the bucket. Herter's got four points this quarter. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Pass to Monk. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Herter. Herter's got four rebounds now. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and short, crisp passing. Here's Bradley. Howard with a screen on Herter. Outside Augustine. The kick out to Williams. Fires from deep. Gets the three to fall. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Griffin. Over Howard. Griffin's shot is off. Here's Bradley. Herder defending. Outside Monk. Right side Augustine. Floats one, and he lays it in. And now it's an eight-point Los Angeles lead. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second-chance opportunities. Smart's checked in for Los Angeles. One twenty-four left to play in the first half. Pass to Cousins. Inside. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got four rebounds in the game. Griffin against Smart. And it's flushed down! A nice jam! Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Now here's Jones. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. When he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. Here's Augustine. 35 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Good work defensively by Cousins. Pass to Craig. Count it. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. 27 seconds left to play in the half. Here's Bradley. Williams, a screen on Craig. Back to Augustine. Fires the three. Deflected. Griffin still possessing such incredible timing. Shooters have to be careful when he's on the prowl. Good on the shot. Griffin's got his first basket. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Fires the three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Lakers on top, up by four. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. With All-Star Weekend around the corner, let's see who's looking to bring down the rims at the dunk contest this year. 
some big time athletes on this slip. Guys with 40 inch verticals and ridiculous hang time. And anyone can win this contest in my opinion. Every year we get something unexpected. Well, as we check out the results of the first half for the Lakers, it's been neck and neck. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. How about Kimba Walker? Strong contribution so far in this one. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Kimba Walker's out there with Kevin Herter. Then it's Royce O'Neal. Then there's Cody Martin. And it's Bialica in at the center position. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Anthony's got five now. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the set. And they recover it. Walker's shot is off. For three, James. Walker pulls down the board. Outside Herter. Pass to O'Neal. The shot from the low post is good. Give him eight points now. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Westbrook finds James. To the paint. Anthony, the pass to Davis. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. And the Lakers lead by four. This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davids inside, but he still powers through it. That shot is good by O'Neal. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. O'Neal's gone five of seven from the floor here. Westbrook outside. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. From the elbow, Davis misses. Here's all you need to know about how talented Anthony Davis was as a young player. He was invited to play for the U.S. national team when he was a college freshman. Herter gets the bucket. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Shooting while in rhythm. Westbrook understands his strengths on offense and plays to them well. AD won gold with Team USA in London in 2012. Richard, he was the only college player on the team. With all of that pressure and intensity, it probably gave AD a great taste of what life is going to be like in the NBA. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Martin outside. Over James. The offensive rebound. Here's Bielitsa. And he gets it to go. Bielitsa's got five points. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. And he's going for the oop here. And Davis slams it home. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Walker. 11 points in the game. And the contact not bothering Walker there at all. Clearly one of the more focused players in the game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. The Lakers in the lead. 
Westbrook right side. And again, the Lakers, no good. Walker passes to Bielita on the wing, Jones. The shot misses. Great D that time from Monk. Westbrook with it, and Walker picks him up defensively. Westbrook, that's good. And shooting wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, Walker passes to Jones. Walker against Westbrook. Fires high post. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. On the wing, Davis. Fires for three. Rebounded by Bielitsa. Bielitsa's got four rebounds now. Jones, the pass to Bielitsa. And here's Martin. Pass to Bielitsa. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. And that's the importance of the three-point shot for LeBron. He understands that by keeping just kind of like a rounded, balanced attack, it makes the defense have to respect his range. Bielitsa. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Bielitsa's got four points in the quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Westbrook with a screen on Martin. James passes to Monk. The three-pointer off the mark. Monk's gone three of eight tonight from the field. Pass to Craig. Here's Martin. That one's good for two. And now just a three-point Los Angeles lead. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Westbrook, the pass to James. Davis with a screen on Martin. Offensive rebound. And Davis slams it home. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Completely new group for the Lakers. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Davis has gone 5 for 10 shooting tonight. Jones, the pass to Griffin. Now Jones. He's covered by Augustine. Jones drives in. And the layup is good off the glass. Jones has got his second basket. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Howard. To the inside. Here's Williams. It's deflected. Now here's Martin. He's got six. Here's Griffin. Howard grabs the miss. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Martin finds Griffin. Jones from outside. Here's Cousins. And Cousins throws it down. And that's just grown man strength from Cousins there. Able to fend off the physical defense. <laughs> nice play. And he's going for the lob. And there's the turnover. Pass goes out of bounds. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. And there's 1.38 left to play in the third quarter here. Pass to Martin. Back to Jones. For the lead. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Since entering the league in 2015, Tyus Jones has proven to be as reliable as it gets. A multi-talented guard who plays to his strengths. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. And what you appreciate about Jones is how under control he is, Richard. He's never in a rush. It's what allows the game to come so naturally to him. He's skilled at keeping things very simple. Solid at setting the pace for himself and his squad. Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. 
impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Griffin passes to Craig. Connects from downtown. Craig's got seven points in the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. High arcing shot. Augustine can't get it to go. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Cousins finds Craig. Yep, that one's good. Craig's got five points now in the quarter. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. And Augustine gets it to go. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Jones from outside. Smart grabs the miss. The Lakers trail. Pass to Augustine. From downtown. That shot is off. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. Up by one. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And the Lakers have possession. We've got Carmelo Anthony, Marcus Smart out there with Russell Westbrook. Then there's Grant Williams, and it's Davis in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Westbrook's gone a terrific six for eight shooting from the floor. Jones, the pass to Griffin. Martin outside. Over Anthony. Tips it, controls the rebound and the putback. Neither team able to take a hold of this game. Yeah, it's been a tight one. Numerous lead changes, very competitive. Westbrook left side. And the layup is good. Westbrook's got 10 points in just the second half. And once Westbrook finds his rhythm, good luck trying to stop him. So dominant at times. Pass to Griffin. Shoots over Davis. Offensive rebound. O'Neal. Some solid defense from Williams. The Lakers in the lead. Smart outside for three. Westbrook with the miss. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Here's O'Neal. Checked by Davis. Back to Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. And that's on the defense right there. Griffin is too good once he gets the positioning he wants. Here's Westbrook. Uses the glass to finish the layup. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. To the paint. Yep, that one goes. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Now here's Westbrook. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Smart for three. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist in this one. And if the defense leaves a man open, Westbrook will find him. Russell's floor awareness helps him rack up the assist. Here's Jones. Griffin right side. Back to O'Neal. Martin outside. The Lakers with a rebound. Anthony's got six rebounds now in the game. Westbrook outside. Smart, a screen on Jones. Westbrook, the pass to Anthony. Fires, top of the key. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. And the Lakers lead by four. 
That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's O'Neal. Ooh, he's found his rhythm, seven for 10 and counting. Yeah, an underrated passer. Griffin wants to involve his teammates as much as he can. Here's Westbrook, and it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Griffin. Stolen by Davis. For three, Westbrook. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got a rebound number five here tonight. Herter with it. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Williams passes to Smart. Let's it go from the wing. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Herter. Let's it go from deep. Fires in the triple. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. And the Lakers call time here. Kevin Herter really making a difference here. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working. It's now time for our T-shirt giveaway. Some changes now for the Lakers. James comes in for Williams, and it's Monk in for Smart. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. He likes the way they're pounding the ball inside. He said, keep working for high percentage looks. The more efficient that we can be down the stretch, the better chance we have of winning this game. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. Oh, my God. LeBron James. What's that, that, that power? Do you just feel the rim shake? Here's O'Neal. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got four rebounds now. Inside. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by James. And now a three-point Laker lead. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Herder against Monk. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. And everyone knows Walker can score, but they're happy to play the role of facilitator. James passes to Westbrook. James, a screen on Walker. Here's Westbrook. Second shot opportunity. And Davis lays it in. His first half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Pass to Martin. To the middle. Stolen by Davis. Here we go. All alone. And slam dunk by James. How many times have we seen LeBron hit a huge bucket in his career? I don't know. I've lost count. But that was beautiful to watch. Now here's Walker. Martin outside. Here's Herter with the drive. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Davis wants the ball in these big moments, and his ability to deliver is what makes him a special player. O'Neal misses. Monk against Herger. Monk passes to Westbrook. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Defensive foul. Cody Martin. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers. When I think of Westbrook, I think of one of the most intense players ever to play the game. A true competitor doing whatever it takes to will his team to a win. Herder, nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. This has been the story of the game, a battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Down low, here's Martin. That shot, no good. Now the Lakers take it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. 
to the paint. Davis down low. He's against O'Neal. Basket counts. Too big, too skilled. Davis in the face of good defense that time. shows once again that he knows how to come through in the clutch. Pass to Westbrook. Kept alive, Davis. The Elita with some nice D. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. James inside. The Elite defending. There's Davis with the three. O'Neal pulls it in. And here's Martin. Pass to Walker. Back to Bielita. Now Martin. Outside Walker. Shot clock at five. Takes the three. And he sinks it. And that one brings him within one. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. At the line for Los Angeles. He gets the first, and that'll put him up too. Oh, the king at the line. You can bet on LeBron delivering. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. The last make was huge. Now, realistically, the worst-case scenario for them is OT. All right, guys, what's your take? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. seconds left in the fourth quarter to tie it up and it's in oh an enormous three-pointer anytime Kimba takes the floor he can go off we're seeing a vintage Walker performance here tonight time called here the Lakers decide to talk it over Seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to James. Oh, there's the alley! And that's what you call a big-time shot by a big-time player. AD demonstrating just how clutch he really is. And so it's the Lakers who scrape by with the win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Russell, this was a high-level back-and-forth basketball game. What's the mentality that got you the win? We're going to get it. We're going to compete at a high level. When you live for games like this as a competitor, uh, come out and compete, and I know I look forward to it every single time. And we live to watch games like this. Thanks, Russell. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. 
Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.